Now this question involves um, bounds. Now they've told you the word bounds there and they've told you if, you, if you didn't actually say the word bounds, it's this idea that you've been given numbers correct to a given number of places or sometimes correct to a given number of decimal places. So the first thing to get some method marks is to write down the minimum values possible and the maximum values possible. Now because the 6.43 has been given to two decimal places that really means you're working with a scale, a measuring scale for A that's going in 6.43 it could have been given a 6.42, could have been given a 6.44 and it's the boundaries we want so they're the halfway marks so for this particular one 6.425 and 6.435 so we'll get a mark just for writing down 6.425 and 6.435 to show we've understood what the minimum and maximum values possible were for the A. For B we do a similar approach and we find that the minimum value would be 5.5135 and the maximum value would be 5.5145. Now this question is asking you to deal with finding the V value, that would be sensible. Well that really means you've got to find the upper B the upper V value which will be given by V equals the square root. Now here you've got to be careful if you want to make the largest possible value for a square root we need the largest possible inside it so we're going to divide the largest A value by the smallest B value. We do that on our calculator so we do square root bracket 6.5 435 divided by 5.5135 close bracket equals and we get an answer of 1.08034023 again like a lot of calculator questions do not round until you get to the final answer so that would be our upper V value and our lower V value well we'd need the smallest values inside the uh, square root sign so we need the smallest possible value for A so 6.425 we need the largest value for the B to make the smallest possible answer inside the square root so 5.5145 so again on our calculator we're going to do square root open a bracket 6.425 divide by 5.5145 close the bracket equals and again we must write down the whole of this number so that we can actually then decide what the final answer is going to be so 02649 right so we look at these two answers the question asked us to consider bounds to work out a suitable value for V well the reason this is a A star question really is because it's asking you to look at the two numbers and round them down until they both agree so for example if I write both of these numbers down for four snippet figures then the upper V will become 1.080 the lower V will become 1.079 not quite the same yet so if we now look at what happens when we do three sniffing figures then the upper V becomes 1.08 and also the lower V becomes 1.08. These values now agree with each other so the final answer should be V equals 1.008 so 1.08 to a suitable degree of accuracy. And that degree of accuracy in this case three snippet figures.